But I do think a lot of the hatred that the Yankees feel, that the Patriots feel, is kind of jealousy. That you're just jealous of the fact that they win and your team doesn't win at the same clip. You know, the, the same was, clip. Was, I mean, uh, even, it's not even the same sport. It's so unrelatable. If you're a 17 year old kid right now to have grown up with this your whole life, it's so unrelatable. I mean, I, I, yeah, I guess you could argue it's jealousy. I'm just here to speak for the fan who also is allowed to. Yeah, there is some jealousy, sure, and it's annoying. I can think both, and they're great. All can be true. They are great. Greatest well, coach it? ever. And Brady's and, not the greatest quarterback of all time. No, he is. No, he's not. Well, he doesn't have the most talent of all time. No, well, then I mean, I, Dan Marino might be the most talented quarterback who ever lived, greatest arm, but the whole package, you got to take Brady. But he's, not the, he's not the best quarterback who's ever played the game. He though. might be. But he's not. The thing is, he's not. he's not. Who is? He's not. Because I've mean, I watched a game of football, like, like Don once said. I've been watching this football 30 years. 30. He's not. I watched Tom Brady play. He's incredible. Gets the ball out of his hands quickly. Throws a nice deep ball. He's a solid. He's a really, really good quarterback. You're telling me we couldn't name ten quarterbacks put in that same spot with Belichick? Aren't doing the same no, thing? No, I'm, Matt Castle didn't. He was eleven and five. Well, I'm, but he I'm didn't not dropping. I'm not saying he's Matt Castle well, level. But I'm saying is no, I'm he's, fine. he's the greatest quarterback who ever lived. That, but he's not. Uh, how the, could you say that? He's not better than Aaron Rodgers. But, he's not better than Dan Marino. He's not better. I, I don't know if he's better than Joe Montana. But a quarterback's not just about running and throwing. It's also about reading defenses. I mean, and, and consistency hey. and brilliance. He's the best quarterback who ever the lived. The problem with football is you need everything around you to work for you to work, right? I mean, if I took Dan Marino in his prime and put him on this Patriot team, he would do the same thing. Now, Dan that's, Marino that's, was a special player. Same with John Elway. Same with Joe Montana. Same with Johnny Unitas. I mean, you put those guys that you can't argue the fact that he's getting to do what he's doing with the greatest coach who ever lived. That's going to help. All right. Peyton Manning doesn't go 6-3 and three in Super Bowls if he was the guy. Who knows? Maybe, maybe Brady's the perfect quarterback for Belichick. Maybe, well, obviously he is. He, maybe Dan Marino would be too much of a gunslinger. Maybe Brett Favre would be terrible. There are people they get rid of him. There are people going back to the era of the 70s that said that Archie Manning was every bit as good as Terry Bradshaw. Every bit, if not better than Terry Bradshaw. Sounds laughable because the Patriot, the the, the New England, uh, the New Orleans Saints never went to the playoffs with Archie Manning, and the Steelers won four Super Bowls. But if Archie Manning had that Pittsburgh Steeler team with his talent, Archie Manning would be Terry Bradshaw. And if Terry Bradshaw never left the state of Louisiana and went from college to the Saints, he'd be that you know great quarterback that unfortunately was on a lousy team and and wouldn't have gone to the Hall of Fame. You have to be in the right circumstances. See, I think a great baseball player is a great baseball player. You know, maybe he won't win the championships, but you would acknowledge the fact that Ted Williams would be Ted Williams with the Red Sox and the Yankees. Doesn't it doesn't matter. matter. But I think it matters in football. There are a lot of great quarterbacks. There are people that believe that if Ken O'Brien was a giant and Phil Simms was a jet, Ken O'Brien would have got, won the Super Bowl, and Phil Simms would have been the most sacked quarterback in a decade. Because you got to be on the the right team, so it's difficult to judge. Uh, that's now, why, Brady's going to okay. go down as the greatest because of all the hardware and the longevity. Give him greatest, but don't say he's the best. Oh, all right. I'll say greatest. Uh, greatest is fine, but he's not the best. Mm -hmm.